Hey guys, so I'm currently in Sarajevo, which is in Bosnia Herzegovina, if you don't know. And this is actually the first trip I'm on that I actually feel like I'm on vacation, which is really funny because this is the only trip I'm taking that actually corresponds to a class I'm taking. I'm doing this for a class project, so yeah, it's funny that I think it feels the most like I'm on vacation here because this is the one trip I'm actually not on vacation. But this city is really cool. I'm gonna turn this way because there's a cool view back here of the mountains. But this city is really cool um, because it has a lot of history that wasn't really covered during my schooling growing up. Um, the war in the 90s that happened, I never really talked about that in high school and I'm getting a lot of information on it here which is really interesting because it's all new stuff and I like learning stuff. Um, I was just in a gallery on the Srebrenica um, massacre that occurred at the end of the war in July of 1995 and it was basically all these people who were seeking refuge were killed and it's definitely there's a lot of dark history um, in the more recent years that is really interesting to learn about and the other thing that's really interesting is you can see it on buildings there's a lot of buildings with like bullet holes in them from the war because Sarajevo was under siege for almost three years and there's also a ton of people who lived through the war that happened here so a ton of people have personal experiences and they don't even have to be older people like I had a tour guide earlier who is in her early 30s and she remembers growing up as a kid in the war the tour guide I had yesterday who uh, took us to the Herzegovina countryside he fought in the war so it's really interesting hearing their perspectives on everything that happened because they lived through it and that's just not something you get in school that's not something you really hear about in school so it's really cool hearing this first-hand perspective so if you like learning new history that isn't really covered in American school systems I definitely recommend coming to the Balkans because there's so much history that I feel we don't really cover in school and it's really cool to learn about because it's really recent history and it's really interesting so I will continue keeping you guys posted, so bye.